Microsoft has announced Project Sophia. This Project Sophia is one of its kind because not only it is using generative AI, but it is also using it in a different style. It is trying to be a business first AI application where you can solve your business problems or even project them in the future with the help of this Project Sophia. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of this Project Sophia because I'm more than sure that this will become industry standard very soon. Project Sophia in very simple words is sort of AI business research canvas. With this Sophia, you can ask any business questions across every business domain. You can also help all business users solve complex business problems and you can discover, visualize, interact with data in new ways. You can also optimize business processes to drive better outcomes. Now, what you can do is you can upload your own business data to Project Sophia and I will show you shortly how you can do this. And once you upload your data, you can effortlessly research where optimization can be created in your business journeys through blueprints, which are building blocks to help provide structure to your AI powered search. Afterwards, you can dive deeper into any areas of the research journey, triggering a conversation with Sophia, who will now assist with further exploration and suggestions. And you can also use business process guides, which assist you through the process of achieving a predefined outcome. You can also use account planning or sales territory planning in which Sophia creates a comprehensive AI generated account plan for you. The good thing is you can try it out for free right now. So, and I'll drop the link to it in video description. Sign in with your Microsoft account. Once you sign in, then click on try now and then you'll be presented with this screen. Let me make it a bit bigger. So this is the preview console of Project Sophia. After logging in, you can create a new workspace from here and you can click your domain, whether you want to do it in sales and marketing or you want to deal with finance. So let me select with sales and marketing for now. And it will, and then you can uh, ask a question accordingly. I'm just going to ask it, which one which burger is more popular in australia i'll just ask it uh, kfc or mcdonald's of course this is just a very general question and what you can do you can add your data here by clicking on it and then upload your file but let me ask it this question let me click on generate So after clicking on generate, it has given me this console where on the left hand side, there is an overview about um, who dominates what. So you can see, for example, okay, so it says the select your domain. Maybe I'll just go with, I already did, but it's asking me again. Okay, I have just done it. Okay, it is some sort of help. So I'm just going to click here. Okay, so again, so on the left hand side, you can see that um, it is giving me an overview that in Australian fast food market, McDonald's holds a stronger position as compared to KFC. And then there are a lot of other things around McDonald's and this is amazing research. And just imagine how much time it can save you. And then it has, it has also given you a summary that in the Australian market, McDonald's is more popular than KFC when it comes to burgers. And this popularity present opportunities for sales and marketing professionals in areas such as account management, territory management, lead management and closing deals. And then in the middle, it has given us the web search result where it has, I think it has used these references, which is powered by Bing. And from there on the very right hand side, it's awesome stuff here. It has given you the next step. For example, you can generate email draft using the content or you can in investigate the consumer preferences further and you can analyze sales data of KFC and McDonald's. So let me click on this analyze data. Let's wait. And there you go. So it has now given us the sales data on the left hand side. Again, the references in the middle and then next step. And it is going deeper and deeper into this um research which 
you can do so for example you have a business you want to research more then you can use this tool uh, project sophia in order to further your research and sky is the limit here and right now they have just sales marketing and finance and you can i'm more than sure they will be adding more domains here so this is it guys i hope that you enjoyed it and as this tool matures i will also be making more videos i'll really be interested in seeing if there is any api interface to this project sophia and as i said earlier i can i will also um, drop the link to it in video's description so that you can try it out in the preview that's it let me know your thoughts what do you think and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network because every new subscriber helps thank you very much